basically, we're going to watch uh, the It's Complicated channel. You know, we got a lot of good videos on there. So, shout out to It's Complicated Kid channel. I don't, I don't know his name, so. His name's It's Complicated. That's his name? I mean, in the YouTube land. Yeah, yeah. I was taking him more of like a John. He looked like a John. I never even seen him, but he sounded like a John. Yeah, he kind of do sound like a John, but. Could be a Mark. Who know? Hmm. All right. We're going to get into this video. Called Nerdy Girls. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yes. Okay. So. The heavies. You know them big girls that like, they got some big ass titties and you know she going to get it too. You know it's a lot of motherfuckers going to give it to but it. She kind of big though still, but but them titties are too, so. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so first question is, uh, can I have you state your name and that you consent to being on camera? Okay, my name is, and I definitely consent to. The fuck you say? What, what, is he not in Las Vegas or something like that? Or maybe because they're in a um, private. No, nah, they in, a, they in a, a, a Comic-Con type shit. Yeah, but I mean, in Vegas, you don't have to ask people for permission to, like, even if you're like. But they're in a private venue. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's a public what, type, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyways. Being on camera. Okay, hold on. Okay. This character is from Legend of Zelda, Skull Kid or Deku Kid. Never so played Zelda. I am Princess Peach Zelda from Zelda. Mario franchise. My character is Kirby. I'm cosplaying Jinx from League of Legends. So this is Tracer from Overwatch. I did her original game look. I am Thanatos from the game Hades. My character's name is Makima from Chainsaw Man. The only game I knew was a. Uh, uh the princess and motherfucking uh, Zelda, but I never played Zelda. Yeah, I played Zelda for N64, but I don't know that character. Like, My character is Persephone from Lore Olympus. It's Persephone. a web series about um, the Greek gods. So I'm dressed as Imogen Tumult from Critical Role. I'm Suki and he's Sokka and we chose- Damn right you were Sokka. So is this because we love Avatar? Sokka is. TNG era Andorian from Star Trek. Okay, go. so I'm- Wei Yun, no, not Wei Yun. Who was the motherfucking uh, Andorian? What was his name? But it's the motherfucker that played Wei Yun. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know oh, you. Oh, no, you never watched Enterprise. No, I think you showed me the clip, but. Morgana? Oh. oh, I'm Haruhi Susumiya from the Milikani of Haruhi Susumiya today. Audrey 2 for Little Shop of Horrors cosplay. A rogue Twi'lek from the Star Wars universe, an OC character. Uh, well, I am the uh, Red Queen. I have the meat. Uh, I'm Parties. Slave Leia. And because I. Super thick. But do you notice? Looks like a BBL. Are you noticing a common denominator though? What, the, what are you talking about? You noticing a common denominator? I mean, nah, what, what do you think? Uh, the common denominator that these bitches are all B's, C's, and D's. Ain't no A's up in here. Ain't no 10's. Ah, okay, because I was like, you talking about cup size? Like, uh, that one bitch has small titties. Right. Yeah, they know they know tens. That's for sure. Because that's I what mean, I'm saying. It's you're a t if you're a fine, fine chick, you're not. It's, the chances of you being a nerd are a lot slimmer. For real, but it was one that wasn't bad. It was one that wasn't bad. I, I didn't point really? her out, but I really like that she's a slave. Honestly. <laughs> oh my god. Who so is hold your? On, wait, I really like this. That's one thing about nerd girls. They're freaks. Some of them. I find most of them, man, because they. Just, yeah, but some of them are not. Some of them are very, very. Like off-putting, very standoffish, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know almost, you. almost lesbians. Some of them, some of them, right? But but a lot, a lot of them are freaks. You can yeah, see the I'll ones that like if they if they dress slutty and shit like that. Yeah, they not look. even just nerdy girls. A lot of them is like. I'm just I'm just talking about nerd, nerdy girls specifically. Like, I can tell when a nerdy girl's a freak. Usually, like, she's a super freak, super freak. She's super freak at yeah. Right. Right. Who's this fucking waste man? He look like a drunk old creep. Favorite Joker? Oh, of course, it's Cesar Romero. Followed a real close second by Jack Nicholson. What is the best and the worst thing about being Marty and Doc Brown? Going back to the future? How should someone who's socially awkward find love? I'm still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good question. But um, if they have anything that they really like, like all the people here really like Women? to do cosplay, or they like certain characters, and that is a way to find other people. What's the best compliment you've ever received? I used to be a very insecure person, so 
I always appreciate compliments on my appearance, but I like being complimented on personality. Personality. That's my favorite compliment. Why do so many women prefer compliments not on their appearance when they spend so much time on their appearance? That is really interesting. I never thought of that question. I don't know. I love compliments on my appearance, but my thing is, is I get them so often Clearly. that I enjoy when something somebody notices something other than my appearance. Well, when you Why does tits out like that? How First of all, every bitch gets compliments <laughs> on her appearance, even if she's ugly. You know what I mean? That's just a, that's what dudes do. We're creeps, you know? Yeah. You, could, you could be a whole C, D, E, F, Z. You know Wait, what I mean? We, we, we ranking bitches by letters now? We don't do numbers no more or what? We could do all, all of the above. It don't matter, right? <laughs> I feel like letters is a little more accurate. Right? Like well, kilometers. I mean, uh, I feel like uh, with numbers, I, I, sometimes I'll throw in like uh, decimals. You know what I mean? Like she could be a six and a half. And give her a, a, a chick who's kind of fine, but like just one thing about it, she could be like a 7.9, not quite an eight. Yeah. I heard that. So many women prefer compliments not about their appearance when they spend so much time on their appearance. Mm -hmm. That's true. I spent a lot of time doing my makeup this morning. Yo, um, I think it's just because we're used to being ogled. When we when we spend so much time on ourselves, it's kind of hoped for or expected to be looked at and appreciated. But so y'all spend so much time getting ogled. Whatever the fuck that means. I feel like I know what that means. Right? Like I but, fucked. Right? So, yeah, I fuck, right? So, you spend so much time on getting ogled, and it sounds like you don't like it. But for some reason, you keep spending all this time on your appearance. Well, they like it, but I think that the reason is is because... Depends who do it. Well, well, that too. But I think women like and appreciate, you know, compliments about their personality or other shit that's not physical. Because that's kind of like how they Because they void of it. No, because that's kind of how they're... Because they void... No, no it's because they void of personality. Well, yeah, I mean, some of them... An ugly yeah. motherfucker likes to be told that he's pretty or a good looking or handsome or whatever, right? But but I'm just saying, like, just the way that women are attracted to men in comparison to how men are attracted to women. Like, women like men, you know, a lot sometimes about masculine. their characters, characteristics. Women and, like and masculine like men, right? Well, I just mean, like, no, no. I'm, but if I'm you sit in no, a compliment no. a woman on a personality... What I'm trying to say is they ain't gonna like it too much for after a while, you know. You could be a dude who's maybe not the, not that attractive, but like if you are have like a great personality or yeah, other things that add up, a woman can Tick still back. be attracted to you. Whereas like for men, it's like if you ain't if if you're not attractive physically, then like you know, it kind of just stops right there. So I think they a women always want men to be attracted to women, like women are attracted to men. It just doesn't work like that. Mm. So, that's what I was thinking. Basically, they have a female idea of what, what a man should be, but it's a very feminine idea of what a man should be. And when they come into contact with that, they don't like it. it um, I just feel like it, it's a deeper form of compliment. What's the difference between dressing sexy versus that, dressing trashy? Uh, I think it's not necessarily the way that you dress, but how you carry yourself. How... Well, the, she would say that the outfit fits you. She looks you. like a whore. You can only have one. They all look like whore. Part out at a time is what I like to draw the line at. So if your boobs are out, your legs can't be out, and if your legs are out, your boobs can't be out. I think that's if you have both out, that's the trashy part. Um, I think sexiness is mostly about like confidence and I just like should, owning I put it. The mustache and beard I think on. that's a kind of in the eye of the beholder. This is the only one I don't think is a freak. For obvious reasons. Holder. I think it, I, I really think that the term like dressing trashy kind of just depends on the, um, the, the situation, you know, like if you're dressing in something for like the bedroom, there is no such thing as trashy there. If the other person finds it sexy or they like it, that's just what it is. There's no such thing as trashy. But I think there's a level of decorum that certain places have that um, make it more or less unacceptable depending on what it really does depend on what it is and what the audience, the what the people around you consent to as well. Because obviously, like, I'm not going to wear like even something that like I might wear to a convention. I wouldn't wear to like a park filled with children. You understand? Like there's a difference between those two. You dress One man's like trash a child. is like another man's treasure. And as long as you're not, you know, accosting someone, like don't yuck someone else's yum because they may view it as art. 
Are jokes funny because they uh, reveal the uncomfortable truths? Oh, too. of course. The best thing is is somebody getting hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, comedy's all about pain. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Scream. Okay. <laughs> um, how do you decide what to wear for Halloween? Oh, what's ready at the moment? <laughs> oh my gosh, deciding what to be on Halloween is like the hardest thing ever. Um, I usually try and pick something that I don't think that other people will be, so Kirby, I try and think character? outside the box. So what? You don't know the character Kirby? Like Kirby Enthusiasm? No, nah, Kirby, like the old video game character. Now I'm playing. Um, yeah, of course I know Kirby. But the question is, have you ever dressed up for Halloween? Have I? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. What's your favorite Halloween costume you ever dressed up as? Uh, probably NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan. The that's pretty. That's white. pretty uh, niche. It was a pretty extensive costume too. Like I had like everything except for the championship belt, man. Did like, you have the uh, cul-de-sac? No, but I wore the I wore the band like the black bandana. Okay, that said Hollywood on it. Oh yeah, brother! I, I even shaved my beard into like just a thick. Handlebar mustache just for the costume. Oh my god, that's intense. I don't oh, know yeah. if I could. I don't know if I could do all that. I don't know if I could do all that. But I, you know me, I've never worn Halloween costume in my life. Mm. Um, just culturally, I don't think we uh, we really did that, and we were too poor for costumes. Like, ideally, it would have been like, oh yeah, uh, throw a white bed sheet on you. No, well, when we were kids. We always used to dress up and shit. Like, sure, but like then, like I as like a teenager, I was like, oh man, like. I'm too. I might be too cool to dress up for Halloween. Some a couple of years here and there. I still classify Halloween sweaters as dressing up. I mean, yeah, whatever. But uh, I think I think my next. Actually, I think my most fun uh, Halloween costume is, is 2005, and I was Mike Jones. You know what? I, that's pretty cool. In blackface. Well, I mean, obviously not in blackface. At and least on, black arms. And the thing though, is that you at least have black arms. Uh, no, nah. but uh, at the time, like it wasn't even like a. A, a big deal to do blackface. You could do it, but I was just like, I don't want to put all this fucking makeup on me. It's clearly such Trudeau. A hassle. Clearly Trudeau. Such a hassle and cleaning it all off. Like, no, nah, it wasn't worth it. But well, clearly, you could do blackface. Trudeau was doing it. <laughs> yeah. <right>? But the <laughs> the sickest thing about the costume was like, because Mike Jones kind of just came out, and like, it was mostly white people at this party. So I had like the black tee, and it said Mike Jones on the front, and I had a bunch of fake jewelry, all this other shit. Mm. But on the back, it said who? Because that was the shit. So I said the I said the party. People were like, yo, slug, why don't you dress up? And I'm like. I'm in costume. I'm Mike Jones. And they're like, who? I'm Mike Jones. Okay. Who? Cal calculated. Yeah. Box. And finally, how should someone who's socially awkward find love? Um, oh my gosh, that's a hard question. Tricking. I feel like just being yourself, because like, you know, maybe you'll meet another socially that? awkward person who just makes you feel comfortable. <laughs> I think people who are socially not awkward also she kind of cute though. Yeah, she cute too. But she got a serious overbite or underbite, whichever one that is. She looks like she's about to say something in the African language. This Brother. <laughs> struggle oh, with pointing. love. I think sometimes internal struggles need to be addressed before you try to go for the external. Do you have any issues within yourself outside of love before you even try to find love, you know? I think a very True. good first True. step would be working on your social this girl doesn't cues seem like and afraid. social like. She looked like the bitch from uh, 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 the Good Place. What's her name? The one married to uh, Dax Shepard or Dayton yeah. or whatever. Yeah, she looks a little like. Dax you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'll fuck one of them. I'll fuck one of them bitches. How to make conversation and I think maybe looking on YouTube or asking friends, working on your social skills, probably first. I think a lot of people can be turned off by social awkwardness. I mean, nobody wants to be uncomfortable, and sometimes it's uncomfortable when there's, like, an awkward silence. or no. But you know the funny thing to cut her off short real quick? Bitches get away with being socially awkward. Yeah, I was gonna that say, shit is sexy. I was going to say the same thing. Like, oh, she's socially awkward. That means she ain't out there like that. Yeah, I don't, we don't care if you're so, If you find, we're like, oh, she's socially awkward, so what? But exactly. then if she's too, like, much of a social butterfly and, and all that, you're like, okay. Well, I've seen a video. I've seen a video with, with these uh, chicks, and they asked them, would you rather a, a good-looking short dude or an ugly tall guy? And they, were all, they all chose ugly tall guy, right? Uh. Because they don't really care. When it comes down to primal at the end of the day, they don't give a fuck. They don't give mm. a fuck about your personality. You know what I mean? You could be a six-foot-seven diddler. You know what I mean? <laughs> and they'll find an excuse. Well, yeah, that's like what they all, all these girls think that the... 
serial killers was all like sexy and shit. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, there was the, the, Richard Ramirez when he got knocked. They was they was throwing their titties out in the in the squad to, to the squad car. Jesus, right? Don't matter. But then they they want to fight for uh, all kinds of uh, anti this and anti that. Nobody knows how to continue conversation. So maybe a first step. I'm sorry, I shouldn't generalize. Not they. Some. Some of y'all are fucked up. Some of y'all are fucked up. For somebody that is socially awkward would be working on social skills or maybe mentally preparing for that first date to have questions to ask. That way it makes breaking the ice easier and allows you to open up and maybe be a little less uncomfortable or awkward. Well, I myself am a little socially awkward nerd, and uh, I actually met my husband at a Comic-Con. Um, I think, you know, finding your interests locally, you know, maybe you're really too. into video games and you she can find like a local too. game club mm -hmm. or going to conventions and stuff and like meeting through mutual connections and stuff. Um, it's all about finding someone that kind of fills that little box in your heart that's nerdy. How can someone who's socially awkward find love? <laughs> I wish I knew. <laughs> I'm socially awkward. <laughs> And um, have you found love? Yes, you are. No, <laughs> you look like your pussy. I've stink. kind, I've kind yeah. of given up on that. That's actually, I feel like, a really hard thing. Like you know, as a cosplayer and a nerd, I feel like, especially, I'm married, and I wanted someone I who accepted the fact that I would cosplay. Sometimes as men, sometimes as women, and I needed someone she who androgynous. accepted that. And I feel like as you get older, you just have to go with it. You have to be genuinely yourself. You can't try and hide yourself and there is someone out there there's someone out there for you but just continue to be yourself and if you're socially awkward then that's fine there's still someone out there for you so do you believe that opposites attract or like minds i absolutely believe that opposites attract but only no. to a certain extent i think you have to have certain things in common but i think that um having someone that compliments you in certain ways is really really important for example me and my husband build cosplays together um he has ocd and i have adhd which are two things everybody got something nowadays right everybody got one everybody I got Yo, one. We need to get on that on the soundboard. Like. For real. <laughs> that sometimes don't play super nice together but we've really found a wonderful way um we wouldn't be able to do the things that we do if we weren't the way that we were um his strengths are my weaknesses and my weaknesses are, are his strengths are my weaknesses and my strengths are his weaknesses oh, so, so we really are able to earlier when i said the one wasn't a freak i thought it was her i thought she was a lesbian mm. right but nowadays you don't know because him could be a whole her you know what i'm saying <laughs> Shit. right true make a great marriage and make a great life together that way I feel like in order to be in love and to exist together, you have to have some similarities, but you can't be the exact same person or else you're never going to grow together. Like, I don't want to date myself. I don't want to marry myself. So a little bit of both. In order for a successful relationship to work, you either have to agree to disagree or there's a lot of little things that you guys have to work through to have a certain flow through day-to-day -day activities and hardships and chores, things like that. So you have to be like-minded in that sense. Some people are just not compatible if it comes to like life goals and stuff and differences in the aspect or differences in communications. That's I feel like you should have the same or similar communication styles, but having different hobbies that that can be beneficial because you can show each other new stuff. I think sense of humor is really important to have that in common um, that you two can laugh together. I think it's important to have at least a certain extent of interest in common. Like my husband won't LARP with me, but obviously he helps me. Build What's that? Live action role play. That's what a LARP is? Yeah. Damn. So those motherfuckers that go out. I was about to Google this shit. They would like go out and like do like medieval times fights or like. But do they fuck in the costumes? Yeah, well, you know some of them do for sure. <laughs> if you ain't, well, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I really don't know. Cosplay and he likes going, like we play video games together and we love movies. And so we have a lot of things that we have in common that we can share and we can enjoy, but um, we enjoy in kind of our own way, but we enjoy them in our own ways together. Finally, how should someone who's socially awkward find love? Tinder. Drive through at Arby's. And finally, when you meet a guy you like, what's the first question you typically ask? Um, do you play video games? <laughs> I think you, you have to definitely have common ground with someone you're going to spend any time with. I mean, nobody's 100% the same, but... I hope they ain't dating. Are you think they're dating? I don't think You never so. know with these weirdo bitches. Yeah, he could have money. He's probably super up, right? <laughs> super up. He got, he got a badge and everything too, right? So he's, yeah. he's, some, he's somebody. 
if you don't enjoy the same things, you don't enjoy doing some of the same things, you, you can't stay together for any length of time. I pretty much agree with all of his points. Um, you wouldn't want someone exactly exactly like you because sometimes mm -hmm. our differences bring out like the best in us. Sometimes something you may have a deficit in, your partner may have an advantage in. And so you kind of balance each other out. But you do have to have something in common. I mean, I rock with it. I rock with it. You know, that's personally. One of his, that's one of his less suck.